Hello there, I'm ArtsyCGamer7 and I'm back with some more Sims 4 and I have mentioned in a few of my vlogs that either I had some what little left like blah, 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 blah. I can't talk but uh, what I had of, that I was like stopped recording Sims 4 for a while what I had recorded was what was all I was going to show for a while until they fixed the like little weird thing where like people were forgetting people and relationships were going down really fast from all from what I can tell because I've been going back and forth in between my two married couples the past two days and it doesn't seem like they're losing any of the bar at least not like super fast and they seem to be remembering people that they met out and about so hopefully that is now fixed from what I can tell it is fixed as for the Sims videos that I did have recorded, I had to scrap so many of them. I don't know... I've always had the hardest time recording Sims 4 above anything. But like, there was like a lot of them that my voice didn't wasn't recorded, or like, it disappeared in and out, or that the game was glitching, like there was all sorts of issues in all of them, and it was to the point that I couldn't really save it. Sadly, two of the Sims videos that was affected by this was part of the 100 Baby Challenge. Though I did make like a little compilation video and I'm going to- I haven't recorded my talk over of it yet, but I am going to talk over it and sort of explain what happened in both of them and make it into one to catch all, all up. But at least it was only two of them. Now for the regular Sims, like the townie life as I call it, a lot of videos had to be scrapped. I had like seven of them and I had to scrap all of them because all of them had one or multiple issues in them to the point where I couldn't save them. Sadly. There was one that I probably could have saved and it was like the sixth one out of the seven and at that point it didn't because the way that I did those videos, some of those videos, it didn't make sense why I was where I was, what I was doing. So I just scrapped it too. That was probably the only one that I could have saved, but even it had issues in it. But I will now sort of try to catch back up on all those videos that got messed up and explain it here in the beginning one. So this one's going to be sort of a short playthrough of like on the Sims themselves more of me updating and talking about sims but what i mentioned in the very first video that was supposed to go out in that section is that i am changing the way that i do the townie life a little bit because i was finding that i like playing sims on my own and there's some houses that i strictly y'all have not seen any of the people in or you have only seen like a quick glance of them or you haven't seen the house at all because i don't visit houses too often which I'm gonna try to do a little bit more, especially in the 100 Baby Challenge. Like that one's gonna be the easiest to visit the houses. But I, and it's also to the point where like, the house with Jaina and the, like I like that house and that was technically the first family that I made recording wise. But I don't know, there's something about that house that I don't enjoy playing it as much. I like seeing those characters walk around and I like them being there and I'm not gonna get rid of them and who knows I may go back to their house but there's some of the houses that I either I was getting tired of always playing at their houses or like I was wanting like certain sims to get to a certain point in their life before going back to those some of the YouTube houses or the ones that I was playing off camera I was playing so much compared to the other ones that the other ones were sort of not going anywhere in their lives either so I want to make it to where whether I'm recording or not I can go to any of the houses like I strictly would not go to any of the houses that I recorded if I was playing on my own and sometimes I wanted to go and but I wouldn't do it because of recording wise but I think which if anyone who's been watching any of my sim series or just whatever doesn't think this idea is going to work out very well, just mention it in the comments and tell me if you'd like me go back the old way or if you have another suggestion or something you would like me to see me do. But I think 
what I'm going to do is actually just sort of go to random houses, not have any set house to be a YouTube house or a non-YouTube house. Let them all be open and so that you can see all of my lovely sims that I have created or brought into my little sims world. And also the houses and stuff, because some of the houses I have made all myself and some of them of course have been brought in from the little um, 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 gallery that other people have made. So the fact that you don't get to really experience some of those sims, and some of, those, some of my sims that I've played off camera have gotten so much further in some things that they could sh I could show you different stuff in their storylines and things like that, and it'd be sort of nice. And then I went through and played like two or three different houses that no one has ever seen before. And well, I had to scrap them all. But I will mention what changes I have made and what I tr was doing in those videos. The first change that I would like to mention is actually at this house. It was the twins, um, I'm actually forgetting their name right now. But I aged them up because they literally was the first children born into this Sims world and yet there were children who were turning into teenagers or even up to young adults before they even aged up to teenagers. So now they are now teens, so that is something I did. But I didn't actually do that on camera, I did that off camera. Anyway, so that wasn't like I missed. I redid some of the towns, like I brought in new places because like I didn't like a lot of the generic places that was here. I left this gym. I think there's only one or two gyms left, maybe. But I brought in most of these are from the galleries though. Because I wanted to change so much. So yeah. But oh uh, I don't know how many changes I made in Willow Creek. Yeah, and I put a museum, but I made a different museum. I put a there's a bar. So I think that was the main changes there. Now, this was the household that I went to go play at at first, <laughs> and <laughs> obviously y'all didn't get to see that, but I left the pool here. I made, I actually made this one myself, which it looks like a bunch of trees, but I sort of like it. It's like an interesting bar. It's like on the top, it's like a little nice pretty garden and all that stuff, but you can go underneath and there's like a little bar. I left this nightclub just because I've uh, been there a lot, and there's this really pretty lounge. I think that one was already there. And then there's the diner, which I actually went and recorded the family that owns this diner. But yeah, didn't get to see that either. It's sort of really annoying. I actually added some places into here because I only have one person who does this. Like, I don't use this part of the Get to Work expansion really honestly that often. I, I didn't delete the one that Luna had, but also there was spaces here that I could be using. So I brought in another lounge, another bar, and another nightclub for people to go so that my sims have more choices. And with this new expansion that's supposed to be coming up November 1st, which is the city living or whatever, my sims should have even more to do. Yay! Because I was finding like I started having sims go in on dates more or like outings or whatever and they have a lot of the places I kept going to the same places because I was tired I didn't like some of the other ones but now I have more choices I don't think I added anything to new Chris because I'm keeping new Chris more of a yeah I, I deleted that nightclub but I'm keeping it more of a house place it does have a park and it does have a spa but other than that it's mainly houses and I wish they would honestly add more places because I mean look at look at this big giant section here. More houses to go there. Like this I'm glad they added this so that you can have more places for Sims to live. But I wish they would like do like a bunch of lots in there just so that there's one place that a lot of Sims could live in a lot. So granted. Yeah. So that was sort of little mini update. This was another house that I went to. Didn't get to see, sadly. And here's the one that owns the diner, which was the last and third household that I went to. So yeah, you didn't get to see any of those because, yeah, they mess up on me. But 
for now, we are actually... I don't know actually which household I was going to go to on this one, to tell you the truth, because like, I just was trying to remember everything that I had to say about what all happened. And I was like, eh. Eh. <laughs> eh. But, um, actually seeing them actually reminds me, I was playing my sims household the other yesterday and they went on a gathering for the club that I made. I actually have the club made with one of these sims, like she's the owner, the leader, whatever you talk about, whatever it is. And I need to make a place for them to actually meet because none of these places really fit in with what they are. So I need to do that at some point in time. <laughs> so I may, I don't know, I don't know. I will say though, I just went to the same place. <laughs> I will say though, if you see like a person walking around the street or like you know of certain households that I have and you want to see me play that household, just let me know in the comments below and I can easily go to that household and play them. So I mean, any of the households that you see. Even. Let me know. Have me go there. I will say though, I do want Luna to start moving on. Like Luna is my favorite one in this household, which she's like one of my favorite Sims of all my Sims. For whatever, she's my first alien that I ever made. And there's some aliens that I will say that after I've made them and added some stuff in, that I like the way they look a little bit better. But I still love Luna. She's like one of my favorite Sims, and I actually want her to start going a little bit further on in her life and getting to the point where she actually moves out and starts having a relationship or something maybe of her own. I don't know, but uh, I will, I think I know which household I want to go to because there was something I showed in one of the videos that had to get cut out. And so we're going to go to this household. You have not actually seen this household. Well, you would have to see this household. But anyway, as I was saying, you would have gotten to see this household, but you know, things that did not work out the way that they were supposed to. <laughs> so, 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 I will now introduce you to these people. This is Leo. He actually needs to go to work right now, but I don't think it's going to let him because it is so late. Yeah, it's like so late that it's not even gonna let him. Um, Leo is actually like I need you to change into like your normal outfit. No, I don't need you in the nude. But you probably can't tell because there's definitely no really crazy clothes, like royal looking type clothes in the Sims. But he is actually designed after someone off a of fire inlet. Me being um one of the siblings from the Fire Emblem Conquest, Fire Emblem Fates Conquest. Uh, he was my, he's my favorite brother out of that side. And I made the whole entire family. I have uh, Xander, I have Camilla, I have Leo, and I have Elise, which was one of the other household, which was the first household I actually played at before coming to his before I lost everything. But anyway. So yeah. He's based off a of Fire Emblem character. And this is Piri, who is also based off of a character from Fire Emblem. And Piri is actually the person that I made my Leo in my uh, Fates Conquest Mary. So I just felt it fitting that since I wanted to make the family that I make some of them that I had them go with. I don't have anyone with Camilla or Elise yet on Conquest or Revolu Revelations. What the one that the third one that came out a little bit later. But yeah, I I just like Piri as well because she's a little bit crazy and weird. So yeah. But yeah. So. But as you can tell, there is an alien in this household, which was. She is another one of my actually sort of favorite Sims at this point, but she was totally unplanned. 
when I first figured out she was like coming again to my Sims world, I was so annoyed and I was so angry, <laughs> to be honest with you. But when I was playing at the house that, when Leo was living with the rest of his family, I was playing at their house. My niece was with me because she loved the Sims, and she really wanted to see a Sim have a baby. So I actually made Camilla have a baby, but at the same time that she got pregnant, Leo got abducted by an alien and came back pregnant. So Lily is his daughter, and that was, she was completely unplanned, but I love her anyway now that she is here. But the rest of these lovely children are Leo and Furies. So this is Forrest, which... Hopefully this isn't spoilers, but maybe it is. If you have Leo get in a relationship, uh -huh. his kid is going to be named for Forrest in the game. So, but my Forrest Boy actually has blue hair. At the time, they don't have, a, like, lot of, I'm sure I could probably find a, the custom content or somewhere out there that gives little kids colored hair. But I wanted to try to have the longest hair on him, because he also has really long hair. But this was one of the longer ones that looked okay, but as soon as he turns a teenager, because I think once they turn teenagers, that's when they can start having the colored hair, his hair is turning blue. <laughs> so, we're just pretending that it's blue even though it's blonde right now. Uh, now the rest of these are just in my Sims game, they're not based off of anyone in the Fire Emblem one. This is Jasper, and then I... Think? Yeah, they have a daughter named Gracie. Gracie actually was named by my niece. So... She did help me pick out Jasper's name as well. Like, I gave her a list of names for boy names and she picked out Jasper. She wanted to say Casper at first, but she actually helped make a sim and name it Casper. Because she made an alien sim, sort of. And she wanted the alien sim to have a boyfriend. And she named it Casper. So... She wanted to pick Casper, but uh, when uh, Jasper was the closest thing. But she did completely pick Gracie's name. So that's little baby Gracie. I don't really know how long she's been around, to be honest with you, because I've been jumping houses so much to see if the this as you go away. As you can tell down here, like I hadn't built her relationship back up with people that she knew, but. By all intents and purposes, it seems like she's at least remembering them. Like she's now remembered them and I can build their relationship bar back up. I know that if I play at a bunch of houses and I go back to my sim, that's when I can for surely tell. Oh no, they froze there for a minute. But I played at my sim's house, which is right there. It's where my sim lives, I'm their neighbor. But uh, I played at their house for like three or four sims days and usually when she went past two is when the these things started going dramatically down and it seems like Piri and Leo's didn't really go down any so I'm pretty sure it's good. <laughs> the real test is when I go back to my sims house because both of their bars I purposely made sure they completely filled up so that while I started recording at other houses that when I went back to theirs, if it went down dramatically, I'm expecting it maybe to go down some. Hopefully not, because they are married, but at the same time, I wouldn't be surprised if it did at least go down some. But not as bad as it was. So we'll see how that goes. But for now, we're going to go back. Mainly pay attention to my sims now. I'm <laughs> done talking and discussing naming Nestle for the most part. But also with I think since I last recorded, other than the recordings that failed, a lot of packs and stuff came out, like the backyard stuff. I said I was done talking and explaining things and I was going to play my sims, but then I realized, I was like, wait! But there was like the kids stuff and the backyard stuff, so like, they have a lot of backyard stuff here. So like the slide, these, these patio sets and things like that, they're part of it. This, I think, it's a puppet show. I think it comes from the kid stuff. This comes from the backyard stuff. Backyard stuff. Eh. Eh. Yeah. Um, I think most of the kid stuff, what little bit I do have is up here. I think this was new. This little cute little thing right here. I know. Oh, yeah, this bed is new. 
Um, this what came with the bed set. As long as the table, I don't remember if anything else in there did. But this, this was something that was new. I sort of call it like the Pokemon in the Sims 4 world. It's like void critters and you have to find them out in the world or buy the packs to be able to play it. I know Forest actually has some. Yeah, see, he has some. I don't know if... Yeah, Jasper does not have any. But we're going to allow Jasper to go buy some so that both of them can play together. Order. Yeah, they got money. Get the more expensive one. Okay. Oh, shut up, phone. Hold on. Now it will not make noise. But let's open this. You got a wisp. Whatever a wisp is. What is wait, it says if they're common or not. That's common. Common. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. Uh, another wisp. Well. Hey. What is this one? Nymphina. Are these all. I'm assuming they're gonna. Oh, there's an uncommon one. Fisher, whatever. But for the most part, the rest of these are all common. So, what we can now do before they go to sleep battle against Forest. He's gonna use his. this one, which is the better one. I don't know what Forest is gonna end up using. I mean, technically, I could probably pick what Forest used, considering I can control both of them. Where are they? Hurry up, boys. Get up. They are. There they are. So, which one? I don't know which one he has choose. Oh, it's another uncommon one. It looks like a monkey thing. So yeah, like it's like little card, almost like some of these are it's got a chip in it, almost like an amiibo card. <laughs> anyway, that the system reads which one you have, and you can turn them up that way and stuff. What are you doing, Fury? Your child is crying. Go, go feed your child or whatever it is. Feed, feed it, bounce it, cuddle it, change its diaper. Well, I'm glad y'all enjoyed a kiss before, but your baby's crying, you need to get in there. Let's see, let's see who's gonna win. The volcano-looking creature, or the monkey-looking creature. Ooh, ooh. That was. <laughs> yeah. Fat. Go. Go. But yeah, anyway, I was saying like what it makes me think of Pokemon, but... But yeah, they have cards, and it has like all the data probably on them and all that stuff, and there's stacks and things. And then you put them against each other. It looks like the monkey has fallen asleep. Maybe not. Oh, now they're both asleep? I'm confused. <laughs> anyway, so almost like Pokemon card game brought into a virtual scene, probably, is the best way to describe it. And considering that Pokemon was starting to get really popular right when Sims brought this in, yeah. Uh -huh. I don't know what if that's what they were going for. Or maybe just card games in general. Who won? I hear like a vehicle outside my window. What the heck? Anyway. He was the victor. So therefore, he lost. Well, it was a good game, good sport of in hand, hand. So he lost, but he's okay with it. Alright. What are you doing, Peary? Using the back. That's what she's doing. What is Leo doing? Eating hot dogs. <laughs> anyway. Uh, uh. Mm. Lily is asleep. But there yeah. is a place that oh, he is yeah. really high in the scientist career. I forget exactly how high he is now. Okay, he is at the max science career at this point. Like, he can't go any higher. So he was able to make 
this little device over here, and he decided to bring it home from work. So, and I went there in the last video, thinking it was totally something else. And I felt a little stupid, I'm not gonna lie. Like, in the video, it's like, yeah, we're gonna go do this, and we're gonna go try to find this person. And then I was like, well, nope, that's not what happens. But it's still a cool place, and we're actually gonna have Lily go back there. And, because, let's collect more alien things, because she's got quite a few alien things, I think, at this point. But let's go collect some more. So yeah, this takes you to the alien world. You're just gonna go. You may want to change clothes. Yes, thank you. So, but yeah, in the video that I made that I was really looking forward to hopefully uploading when I first went into this world and seen it for the first time. But, you know, things happen. Uh, my reason why she was going, she went when her parents were at work and it was just her and she was going to attempt to try to find her real mother. Like her actual mother. Which you can go and see here. Like you can see her mother. That's you can slightly see what she looks like. But of course that's not what you actually do. Sadly, I sorta wish unless when they've done this last last update, I've noticed a few changes to the dine out expansion, which I know there was a lot of glitches and that was like the main thing they was going for. Yep. But uh and that's when the relationship bar started dropping was after that. So they made an update. Who knows? They may have updated it to where it's a little bit different. I wish they would sort of update it to make it to where you could go find the aliens that are the pollinators or whatever. So that if you do have a cell baby occur, they can go and try to find their mothers. But, you know, it's not how it is. So there it goes. So here is the alien world, which is absolutely cool. And just like the place when you go through the tree, I really wish that eventually, like once you discover it, there's an option to have it as a separate little circle that you can click on and you can actually move your sims into it. Because I would love to have like a little alien world where I made had nothing but my alien sims live in and like that tree play like the where you go inside the tree it is so pretty and it doesn't even have to be like which i mean is asking a lot if they didn't go with what they already built like with this already but like they can have like build a new world that was specifically made to put houses on that look like this and just say that it was still the same place but like eh, down on this way or something like somewhere else like not where the wormhole brings you to but, and maybe find something around here, like, maybe that this, there's no paths that continue on, really, except for this one, so it doesn't even really continue on, but say, like, have something here that you click on to continue going on, and that's where the houses are, and you can visit people there or something. I don't know. But it'd be cool if your sims can move into this place or the place at the tree. I don't know where the one in Oasis, like, the little mine shaft, I don't know where that brings you yet. Because I still haven't got someone up to handy in this level 10 to actually go through there. But yeah, this is the Sims world. The Sims world? Alien world. And you can go through here and collect, like, all this stuff and bring it back. So, I mean, I think it's pretty cool. Still, I mean, would I like to go and have my Sims live here? Yes. But, I mean... On the other hand, it's still cool. Oh, and also, your alien sims do tend to pop up here. Like, any alien sims you've made will pop up here. How they get here on their own, I don't know. But they will pop up here. Like, all these are my sims that I've made. Like, that's well, um, Alona, and she works in the scientist career. I forgot his yeah. name. It's like something, like a K. No, that's Echo. I think someone starts with a K. And look, there's Luna. Luna and, um, 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 thank you for standing still. I haven't played Sims in so long, I'm sort of Iris. I have forgotten a lot of people's names. Not everyone's, but a lot of people's. But, like, yeah, like, 
alien soon just randomly appear and start walking around here. So that's an interesting. Oh, that's their stuff all the way up there. Can you get up there? Oh yeah, you can. So yeah, I mean they just start walking around and you can talk to them and stuff. So I mean it's sort of an interesting way to meet alien sims. Like I could talk to Luna. I think she actually met Luna once before, but you know things don't work like that. Because they forgot everyone recently. But oh well. Hey, hey, where are you going? Just gonna talk to you. All the purple skin aliens. I will also say that this is sort of weird how this is made. Like, I don't know if they originally had a purpose for this, to why this was made this way, or if multiple wormhole things will pop up. I don't know. I don't get the why this. This looks like it may have been a building at one point in time, or it was meant to be a building. Yet something about the walls and the furniture has disappeared or so I don't even know. I don't know if there's supposed to be something here. I mean, you can't build here. You, you can't do anything here, so I... I don't know. Where are they going? Like, are they gonna stop and talk yet? Like... You were there in the first place. And she was over here. Oh, it's almost Gracie's birthday, so that answers my question at the like the beginning. Like what how old she was or whatever. So <laughs> Hey Luna. So so It's nice to finally talk to you after walking around all the place. Claymar Sanzo Dafuni. <laughs> oh, that's a good joke. Good joke. Good joke, Lena. Good joke. They have like a secret. Oh, oh, I'm Bob Bassin. Kind of the way Sneeb. Sneeb. That's my favorite part of oh. like, when I see the Jonga. secret handshake. I was like, <laughs> Sipping it, bro. Anyway. Sinner Shay. Uh -huh. Funny. Granite Sinner Shay. I spoke to the Queen. Sure, I do. Boom, Jaraza. Jaraza. I think of a uni. Dimpish Bonzoi. Gishan. Trigna Fennec. Ah, Fricajene. One thing about the teenagers that still bothers me, and I'm pretty sure I have mentioned this, they look almost exactly like the young adults. Like, there literally is barely any change to them whatsoever. And it bothers me. I can make Luna come home with me. I don't remember that from last time. Wait, why was, why was Eliza, what, oh, Elsa, why was she an option? Is she here? Like, why is she here if she's here? I mean, she should, all right, well, so this was sort of a jumbled up video and it was sort of in some ways everywhere, but it was partially an update and showing off some things and stuff. But I do still hope you enjoyed the video. I'm going to end it here because I've been recording for 30, 40 some minutes. So I don't know how much of that video I'm actually going to edit out because I was talking for a lot of it and I had things that I really actually wanted or needed to say. So the loading screens are going to be the main thing that I cut out. But yeah, usually I try to have my Sims videos around 20 minutes or shorter just because that's just, I feel for Sims videos, they shouldn't be too long. But this one's probably going to be a little bit longer than usual, just because of the whole update and all the stuff that happened and everything. But anyway, Ooh. still hope you enjoyed it. If so, hit that lovely, lovely like button. And hit subscribe if you haven't already to see more Sims and other things from me. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye!